Well, it's been a while. <sighs> After I had such a terrible cold and cough, then now I've been dealing with uh, an impacted abscessed wisdom tooth. Long story, but uh, it's still not taken care of, and I have my consultation uh, with the oral surgeon on Thursday, and um, today's Saturday. <laughs> So, but I thought I would see if I was up to working on uh, book cards. And I was going to show you, this is, I print these off and cut these down. I just took um, uh, a Sharpie and marked lines on uh, a piece of paper and made copies. And then you can see through to write if you really want to have straight lines. If it's paper that you can see through. Um, for some reason, this is much thinner paper, the green, but you can't see anything. <laughs> so, uh, anyone who gets paper, green paper, um, from me in a card knows those are not as, uh, uniform. Kind of go all over the place, I guess. But, anyway, um, I'd show you that. And this, this paper that I said I bought at Office Max, this is like, uh, just business paper like people would use um, that's the kind of paper that I buy as uh, different different kinds and different weights of business paper okay I thought I'd take a couple of these and uh, show you this is the easiest way as I have a template that I use all the time for um, the book cards and I have just uh, kind of come in from the sides and then done every half an inch on there. And anything you've got that's, that's uh, sharp <laughs> you could use. And if you happen to have one of these cradles it's really easy to do this. <laughs> Good idea to have like I do. I've got that mat on the table underneath or you'd be poking holes in your tabletop. There. Um, I tell you this mat here, this is one of the best investments I ever made. I got it on sale, but uh, and they come in different sizes. But they're really thick. You can do, you can pound eyelids and you can cut holes and things and like this poke holes and things, and you don't have to worry about the surface of your table. Anyway, that's quick and easy way, and. Oops, that's in the middle. And this is another way. And I, I sometimes I do it, what you've seen already, is if you just have a piece of paper with it marked, you know, you can just hold it like this. And if you if you have a Japanese screw punch, which is this handy dandy little thing, then you can go along punch the holes. Um and sometimes it doesn't end up quite where it should. And that's why sometimes I flip it out like this because it seems to move around less. And there you already have a really good crease to look at. And then I just go through and punch the holes. So, and if you didn't have either one of these, I'm sure there, I mean, you could just make make a mark and, you know, sit and, and poke it through. It's a lot easier, you know, with a cradle, but it can be done, you know, it can be done. Um, okay, so that's, that's that part of it. 
And the next thing, oh, I still didn't get it quite exactly right, but that's okay. Um, and these are all handmade paper. And this was originally, uh, <laughs> all the colors and stuff, if I recall, was from using a really colorful um, uh, birthday napkin as part of it. And these, uh, I sold these book cards together with embroidery thread. And I, of course, I have little ends and stuff, and I save all those. And sometime at night, uh, when I have a whole bunch of them, I sit while I'm watching TV and cut them into little pieces. And I just love these because this is nothing but packing paper. Uh, and the little leftover pieces of embroidery thread I've cut up, and, it, and it's uh, got a very confetti-like look to it. And I just, it's one of my favorite papers to make. And it's nothing, like I say, but packing paper and embroidery thread. Okay, so then the next thing I'll show you is um, sewing them together.